Well, we always love to connect with our viewers, and this morning we get the chance to speak with a very special one. Diane Nelson is celebrating her 80th birthday, and her daughter Trish wrote into us explaining how they were throwing her a big birthday bash. Okay, so you know, this isn't just any birthday. Diane was given two and a half years to live when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, but Five years later, she is having the best 80th birthday ever. As you saw with the video, a carnival themed party decked out with juggling clowns, a Dixieland jazz band, even a dunk tape. And right now we want to say good morning to both Diane and Trish. They join us via Zoom. Good morning to you ladies. Good morning. All right, Diane, I have to ask you, first of all, how was the big celebration? It must have just felt amazing to be surrounded by so much love. It certainly was. It's going to take me some time to process everything because it was fantastic. <laughs> and I want to ask you, Trish, I know you wrote in to us and we appreciate that. And you shared what a journey you and, of course, your family has been through. But can you share with us and our viewers just a little about your story and your mom's story? Uh, yes. Um, back uh, five years ago, my mother... Um, had, had to go into the hospital because she was having pain and they and she'd been sick that year we couldn't figure out what was wrong um and they they were able to determine that she had a, an eight millimeter tumor mm. um on her ovary and so they did surgery and it was malignant and it had metastasized to her lymph nodes and uh, i lived in new york at the time so i was trying to come back and forth to chemo and um ended up having to pack up my apartment and move out here to California uh, later on in 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, her original diagnosis was, you know, two and a half years with a five year max for her strain of cancer. So there was a time in 2020 where we were actually, we had to take her off of her chemotherapy. It stopped working and we were making end of life plans and brought on a palliative care doctor. And then she, <laughs> was as a last resort placed on this experimental treatment and it worked and she's wow. here I and am. She, it's her 80th. <laughs> that is something to celebrate and I want to ask either both of you really what advice would you have for anyone out there maybe going through a difficult time or a cancer diagnosis uh, your story really gives people hope. Yes I think um you just have one thing you do have to really know, listen to your body. Mm -hmm. And if anything seems off, you need to just persist because it did take a while for them to figure out, oh, this is what it is. And so I would listen to your body, pay attention to it. Um, I kind of tried to just accept everything and say, okay, uh, this is what we got to do. We're going to get through this and uh, hopefully we get some more time, and uh, and so I kind of tried to go with the flow and be positive, and um, yes, and of course I had my lovely daughter by my side, and my Aww. son was there. They came to all of my doctor's appointments and my chemo treatments, and so I was very fortunate to have all that support and love around me. Yeah. Well, we can see it's certainly an emotional uh, journey for both of you, and we are so happy to see you healthy and happy. And this all started with you guys writing into us, so we thank you for that. And thank you for sharing your celebration of life with us. And like Nichelle said, it gives everybody hope, and uh, there is hope out there. And we, we thank you for inspiring us this morning. And we can't wait to be invited to your 81st birthday. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Let's start planning that one already. Thank you again for sharing such a beautiful moment with us and the rest of our viewers yeah. today. Thank you thank so much you. for having us. All right. Ah. I, I think that, that made my day. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? There's really something special about the bond. You know, we're just here in a studio, but mm -hmm. you watch us. You allow us to be a part of your family each and every morning, and we want to share in those happy moments. So it's always great to hear from you, and we're able to tell a story like the one we just did right now. Yeah, and that story started with Trish writing into us. So we encourage you, if you have a story you'd like to share with us mm -hmm. and, of course, the rest of the viewers, please write into us. We'd be happy to share your story with everyone else. So, uh, oh, my gosh, I'm emotional just listening to their stories. So, it was um, beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. And uh, what a beautiful birthday celebration.